What's going on, guys? We are back from our NCAA Football 14 Dynasty mode with your West Virginia Mountaineers. Bring on the Mountaineers. Take me home to the place I belong. But this is our season. We win. We put ourselves in a bit of a good position. We lose. We put ourselves in the position of fail. Almost Hi everybody, it's David with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football Okay, okay yeah, big game right here, big game, game James, let's go. by Nissan, innovation that excites. Here are the keys for this game. Hydration, bananas, oxygen tank. Got to make sure everybody's in shape and nobody cramps up because both of these teams rank nationally in passing. The okay, so the receivers we win. Running all over the lot. We put ourselves in position to play for the college football play. Just for that. A for position to get the to the college football, football national show. championship. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for we all lose. The we'll they put ourselves in a position not to make it. Anyway, I'm riding with the Mountaineers. <laughs> I don't like these Texas Rednecks. We're in the Mountain State, Morgantown, West Virginia, and Mountaineer Field is a site for today's game. Yeah, Let's yeah, we're country the guys. They're now. Rednecks. It's brought to you by Coke Zero, real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. They win the toss. They will like to kick. Okay, we're gonna take the ball and we're gonna score. Texas tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. He just drills. This is the biggest game of the season at this point. Senior class taking the home field for the final time, and no matter what you've done before, you always want to get a win in your last home game. We'll see how they do. Win and they will make so it. Here one comes one. the offense taking the field for the first time today. <coughs> Patrick Russell. Takes snap and King gets a first down on the first play of the game. Virginia's got a guy that's in a running for a national award here, Herbie. And you know, the best time to talk about awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. Number three. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 37. And totally gets blown up in the backfield. JJ Parker. Is there on the tackle. And it really helps when they're as talented as this guy is. Yeah, well, if you're West Virginia, if you're Texas, you know what you're going to see from West Virginia. A lot of spread plays. They really do try to run a spread. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Russell did not have a good game in Oklahoma. And Old Dominion was just a two keep And Russell's going to get sacked. Looking to have another big year, Kirk. And I mean a big year. Because if he keeps working in the weight room and keeps working out like he has been, this could be one of the big years of all time for him. Hey, four down, four down, four down. Let's go, let's go. This is a very questionable play call here. I'm not sure I agree with it. Caught by no Matt Nelson. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense. You Red man at the line. And he called the perfect audible. <coughs> We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. <sighs> okay. He scrambled. 
and Russell's going to get sacked. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. That ball's caught by Finnegan. Oh, Michael Finnegan. That is a great example of the Third quarterback five. seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to go five wide. Shotgun five wide. This is the eighth <laughs> play of this drive. They are 0 for 5 on third down. That's almost picked off. When you can get in the way of a pass on third down because you know the offense is bringing it. Bring up fourth and five. Bring on the punt team. Shit. Yeah, that's too strong. And it goes into the end zone down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. They'll spread the field with five wide. And it's a run up the middle and duck it. They'll bring him down right around the 20. Alex stuck it. That's good for a gain of two yards. It's a pretty big, it's a good gain despite, despite all the up the middle stuff. And the quarterback breaks free. That's a game of five on the play. That makes it third and three. Defense. That's a run up the middle, which goes nowhere. Spun their wheels here, but credit to defense with not giving up any ground. Yeah, it forces them to show their hand. And watch out, they're gonna bring the heat right here. He makes it out to maybe the 49 yard line. And Chris King gets either the return of nine. Okay, yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run monster. Or not. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. They come out in a five wide set. Five wide. And a quick throw. He steps out at about the 43 yard line. Okay, yeah, I like that look. So we're going to keep running with the hurry up. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And Russell gets hit. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. From their own 44 yard line, it's third down. So it's probably me covered kill. Out on an empty backfield. He's on the run. Just throws this one away. <coughs> they looked a little sluggish on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. for a fair catch. The Mountaineers really took care of business on defense that first time out, Perfect. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Time looked defensively for West Virginia. And it's a run up the Down middle, the which 15. goes nowhere. The was all over that run. Containment on the halfback. He had nowhere to go with the football. 
that ball is almost picked. And that wasn't the greatest pass <coughs> in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. From their own 15 yard line. Third down. Duck it. Catches it, needs immediately tackled. <coughs> Duck it gets dropped for a loss too. Morris awaits the snap. at the 48 yard line boy neither offense can find any kind of rhythm so far Herbie. yeah it almost feels like the two offenses are just kind of feeling their way right now allowing both these defenses just, just to dominate the game <laughs> i don't think either team has a clear advantage so far let's see if they can make some plays and get okay a little we're going to go back to the ground game they pick up seven or eight yards on the option You've had great success from the to get the first here on second down. Figure out where the blitz is coming. Finnegan gets the first down and more. This isn't even the best example, but I'm gonna tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Yeah, and then we'll do a video. Where I just go over like where every player goes. That's picked oh, off. Bowen gets the pick. I bet he knew as soon as he released that football that he shouldn't have made the throw. And that's the thing. When you're under that kind of pressure, it takes. Texas goes down and scores. Texas opens the scoring. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Slings it. He's tackled. It's a 36 yard line. Michael Finnegan, who's been the best target of the game so far. Five wide. Sack. Boy, this defense really came to play today. Well, they said before the game that they wanted to put a lot of pressure on this quarterback. They sure stuck to that plan. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Yeah. Their panic play is four verticals. That ball. Incomplete one of his receiver. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. Easy, easy, easy. Eagle, eagle. And Russell gets sacked. The defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. You have to get those points when you can against this West Virginia team. You can't just assume that they're going to continue to struggle like this. I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Nice run there as they work the outside. Russell gets six yards after taking it himself on the option. Wide open man, that's Mayfield. He gets down to the 25 yard line. <coughs> the 
people always tell me, why does Russell get the quarterback? That's why. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, knocked out of bounds at the 22-yard line. Conley's got the weight of the team on his shoulders right now after the way he performed last season, Kirk. And I'm telling you, the season he had a year ago, it really makes expectations go through the roof. Big hole and a shoelace tackle that stops the first down from happening. quarterback of putting some air underneath this pass and letting his receiver catch up with it for a nice game. <coughs> First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 12-yard line. The defense has got to be thinking, if they've already forced a red zone turnover, maybe they can do it again right here. Play action. Strike to his receiver. Incomplete. No now, who's the penalty going to be called on here? Pass interference. Defense. Senior penalty on Malik first down. That was just too much <coughs> contact to ignore. You always want to let him play, but that was just too much. And the Texas coach can't believe it. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Touchdown! <coughs> Randy Connolly finds the end zone. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Huskies had a spot in the top 20. <sighs> and now. It's West Virginia that has the chance to pull away. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive. Ball this kept formation. Moved the ball very well with their passing game. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receiver. And caught by Mayfield right for a gain of five. Offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. <coughs> From their own 41-yard line, second down. Drill at the 28. Loss of 13 yards. Third down. Check, check. Check, check. Man, man, man. <coughs> four down, four down. Hey, watch number five. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. That's <laughs> picked off. It's visions. Tackle made around the 31 yard line. By far, Russell's worst game. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. Each possession gets more and more vital as the game goes on, especially when you're behind. You can't afford to make many more mistakes. Quick strike to the receiver. Oh, He's my man, Nelson. At the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. Connolly makes a man miss. Gets to around the 42. <laughs> and he tackles him hard at the 33. <laughs> they get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Stop. Right this the offense has gone line. nowhere. That makes it they have been.
been shut down so far. He's going to try and scramble. Now he's going to run and watch out. And down he goes at the 46. <coughs> four down, four down, four. Go for it. Get off, get off, get off, get off. Fires incomplete. Huge play for the defense. <laughs> so now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. And the blitz worked for them last time. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Connolly makes the grab. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. And Russell's going to get sacked. Shake the defense. with five wide receivers. It's picked off again! Intercepted. They'll bring him down at the 47 yard line. We're gonna find out what kind of character this football team has. I mean, I thought they had a chance to get back Okay, we score before the half. We're in good shape. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. If they can play sound football from here out and make a few plays, there's no reason they can't get back into it. And the ball comes out. Visions picks it up. can't teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball there, and he did. Hey. Twenty-eight. It's still only the second quarter. We got a lot of football left, but I gotta say, and West Virginia. They'll spread the field with five wide. He sails it long. He's picked it off. This time, it's the safety. Tackle around the 38 yard line. Brad, it's still early in this game, and they might be able to get back into it. Yeah, this game's over. 31, 15, 38. That's the final nail in the coffin. I just feel like and here's the eleventh play of the draft. <sighs> Texas B upsets West Virginia, forty-one twenty-three. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one: Texas forty-one, West Virginia twenty-three. The Mountaineers. 23. <sighs> that might have been the ugliest game of football I've played.
And we're not going to get a chance to play in the, uh, we're just going to be playing in a bowl game. We're not even gonna play in the conference championship game. That that's what we lost out on. We lost out on the conference championship game. Yeah, we have a chance to steal them. I felt like we had a chance to go back to back, but... It's just sad because that could have been our last chance to win with that core. Wait, we did make the conference championship? How? How did Texas must have lost because they have the tiebreaker? Did no, they not lose. How are we in it then? We need to play with more focus than, play, than what we played with today. Because what we did today was not is not going to cut it. Anyway, that'll do it for me. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good one, and I'm out. Peace.